Put your hands together. Clamez pour lui. Clamez pour le Seigneur une fois de plus pendant qu'il nous rejoint. Uh, so you're welcome to the Ark of God Covenant Ministry today, in Jesus' name. Amen. Can you tell us your name and your wonderful testimony? My name is Fosso Joseph. Je m'appelle Monsieur Fosso Joseph. Yeah, my testimony goes like this. From my child, but right up to as you people see me like this. I've never started anything in my life. Good, it ends good. Everything always goes with problem. I got married to my wife. Somewhere along the line, I didn't know there was a spiritual wife I had. I divorced my wife with my children. Not thinking of them, not taking care of any of them. I don't think of my children. I don't think of anybody. First, I was drowned in a river which took me like from here to my 17. Nobody rescued me with a tin of oil in my hand, 20 liters. God rescued me. I came out of the river with the tin of oil. After that, I had a fatal accident which nobody knows somebody can come out from the vehicle. I came out, nobody rescued me. God rescued me. I had a fire accident which if you people will see the picture, you will not believe I am the one standing here. I learned the line when I was with my wife. I used to have a dream that a woman always visit me in my dream, making love with me in my dream. I didn't know that was the cause of all the problems I was having. Fall in love with the second one, sponsored her, paid the diary. When I got the fire accident, she came and meet me how I was, duped me, took money again from me at that condition, went I away, abandoned me alone. None of my family members took care of me. None of them supported me in anything. It was only when I had the fire accident. I came back to Cameroon. The fire accident was not in Cameroon. It was in Gabon, Libreville. I returned back to Cameroon. On, on the, in the hospital, all the money I got, I had got finished. I was still with the wounds all over my body. I left the hospital. No one was there to take care of me. I was in the hospital here in Cameroon like this. I had no money to continue my treatment. I left the hospital when I was like this. With no money to continue my treatment. Nous venons d'écouter le témoignage de notre frère. Il commence par nous dire qu'il a eu beaucoup de difficultés dans sa vie. Il a eu des accidents, même à Libreville, et que pendant tous ces accidents, il n'a pas eu le soutien de quelqu'un que ce soit. Il avait un problème de femme spirituelle. Et ce qu'il faisait, c'est qu'il ne pouvait pas avoir de compagne dans sa vie jusqu'à présent. Yeah, on the bed is me, Mr. Fosso Joseph, standing here like this. I know many of you will not believe that I'm the one standing here. This one standing here is Mr. Fosso Joseph. Standing here like this. As you see me there like this, it is not money or anything that brought me back to be in this condition. Il dit, notre frère dit aussi qu'il avait un problème de femme spirituelle. Vous pouvez voir sur les photos qu'il est en train de montrer. Ça, c'est quand il a eu son accident et il se trouvait à l'hôpital dans cette condition pitoyable que vous pouvez voir maintenant à l'écran. I finally leave the hospital because I was asked to bring one million francs so that they would take me for surgical for plastic surgery and the, the bone of my hand has a crack. I had no money to continue that treatment. I surrendered my life. I went back to the house. I was waiting for the final day that I would die. Le médecin l'avait demandé un million pour une chirurgie esthétique, mais il ne pouvait pas avoir cette somme. Alors il s'était résigné, il est rentré chez lui, juste en attendant que la mort l'emporte. I had no one to take care of me. I cannot cook. I cannot take my bath. I cannot even wash my dresses. I used to take my dresses by 4 p.m. in the morning. I get out of the house, I put them down like this. I managed to put water in a pour omo on it. This is how I do my, I, I wash my dresses. When I make like this, I pick them, I dry them. I don't take my bath for over four months. I've never taken my bath. So I decided to lock myself in the house from morning to evening, at times for two weeks. I had a knife lying by the side of my bed. One day I took the knife, I said, today is the final day. Since they don't want to come and take me, I will take away take my life alone. I pick up the knife, the hand could not support the knife. 
Et après, puisqu'il est rentré à la maison, il n'y avait personne pour le soutenir. Et puis, il, il s'est résigné, il a essayé de se suicider avec un couteau qui était toujours pas son lit, mais il n'y arrivait pas. Et pendant tous ces moments de difficulté, il n'y avait personne pour s'occuper de lui jusqu'à ce que Dieu envoie une voisine qui l'aidait à faire sa lessive, sa vaisselle, elle cuisinait pour lui, elle l'aidait aussi à prendre son bain. This very girl was the one who made me to forget the past. She always told me about God, talked to me about God. One fateful day, she came back from school and told me she has seen a poster of Apostle John Chi or somewhere that he is going to visit Bamenda. I said, I don't think that will be my, solve my problem. I'm just waiting for the last day to go. She encouraged me. She said, no, you will go there. That day when the man of God came to Bamenda, I went to the stadium. The second day when I get to the stadium, I was almost giving up because I wanted to return me back to the house. Almost fell asleep. I was sleeping. I've never seen the man of God before. I just see him on a poster. He never saw me, but he knows all about me from childhood up to the day of my accident. When, then when I was in the stadium, I had this, an envelope with me with those pictures inside. Specify that there, is a, there was a man here from Gabon. He is sitting under the canopy with the pictures of the fire accident in his back. He was drowned in the river. He had a motor accident. Finally, he had a fire accident, which almost took away his life. And he, his wife, he divorced his wife because of a spiritual woman. I didn't believe I was the one. I still sat down. Finally, the man of God said, his name is Joseph. That's it, my name. Yes, yeah, there's a brother there inside the ground something. You divorce your wife. The cause of this divorce is you have a spiritual wife. And this spiritual wife is very jealous. You know how God has been saving you. Save you first from drowning in the water. After that motor accident. But The last one that happened to you is fire incident. You are there, you are there. You have some pictures with you. You are from Gabon. Come. Come. Nous n'avons également ce message prophétique. Come on. Nous n'avons pas de vieux. Bien joué. Bien joué. You are from Gabon. Merci. Et sa femme, venant de Gabon. Walking down the road of life. Burdened with my problems Looking for someone Someone to help me out Then I met this man He told me he was Jesus And that he lost me More than ever Man of God, what you prophesy about me from Gabon? I'm from Gabon. What you prophesy is the story. The story is the story. You see what? The story you prophesy about somebody from Gabon. It's my testimony and it's the story. I'm only telling you what God put in my life. It's true, it's true, man of God. It's true. You divorce your wife. Yes, man of God. You see this woman coming to you in the dream. Yes, man of God. It's true. This woman, you have a covenant with this woman in the dream. That you will not get married. It's true, man of God. It's true. Destroyed everything about you. It's true, man of God. For so many years now, fire accident, you see my skin, you my skin. Where are my pictures? My skin to fire accident in, in Gabo. Where are the pictures? This is you? Yes, that's me, that's me, that's me. What a handsome man. Nous allons commencer par ce tour. 
message petit, voulu par l'homme de Dieu, c'est un mauvais nom du gars. Et le Dieu lui a donné un message prophétique, disant qu'il avait divorcé sa femme depuis ce temps. Il voit cette femme dans ses rêves, ce qui avait complètement affecté sa vie. Un esprit de mort le courait après. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Il a confirmé le message prophétique. Thank you, Jesus, I'm free. Thank you, Jesus, I'm free. I'm somebody, before I believe something, I must see the truth. It was my name that brought me out. I said, no, this is a different one. Because as you see me like this, I divorced my first wife. I was a Christian. When I divorced my first wife, I said, if my wife, who is a full Christian, behave to me like this, then I don't believe there is God. I dropped the Bible. I had a copy of the Bible in my house. I dashed it out. But when the man of God prophesied on me and then called my name, brought me out, I say, God is there. Put your hands together for the wonderful Jesus. Notre frère est en train de nous dire qu'avant cette prophétie, il avait eu beaucoup de déceptions dans le mariage avec beaucoup de femmes de différentes religions. Il s'était résigné, il disait qu'il n'y avait pas de Dieu. Mais ce jour, quand l'homme de Dieu, l'apôtre Jean Chi, l'a appelé dans la foule, il a confirmé que oui, il y avait un Dieu grand qui existait. Some of us here will think that if you come out and the man of God don't touch you with his hand, nothing, is, nothing has been done. He only prayed to me, he didn't touch me with his hand. But as you see me standing here like this, after the prayer of the man of God, I have never spent a single franc to go to the hospital, to go for any surgery. As you see the hand like this, no surgery has been done there. I, I have spent no franc to buy any tablet again for this hand. Look at me then, then look at me standing here. One million francs was to be deposited in the hospital. No single franc was deposited to God to chase away the spiritual wife that was running after me. But I am standing here like this. I am fine. Can you put your hands together for Jesus Christ? Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Notre frère est aussi en train de nous dire que quand il est sorti dans la foule pour accepter la prophétie de l'homme de Dieu, l'homme de Dieu a prié pour lui, il ne l'a même pas touché avec sa main et il a reçu sa guérison. Il dit depuis ce jour, il n'a plus jamais dépensé un seul franc pour sa santé, il n'a pas eu de chirurgie esthétique et le voici aujourd'hui, il se tient librement, il parle librement, il est guéri pour la gloire de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. So he says, immediately the man of God called you out, just a stretch of hand, he never touched you. That's how you receive your deliverance and your healing. When you're having this problem, can you tell all the things you cannot do then because of the pains you usually have? I cannot take my bath. I cannot wash my dresses. I cannot cook. I cannot even go anywhere because I cannot move under the sun. I can't move under the sun. I was indoor and I can't sleep on my bed because all the hands were supposed to be up like this before I sleep. They could not come down. The pains. After the man of God prophesied to me and I went back home, my problem was solved. Notre frère est en train de nous dire qu'avant cette prière, il ne pouvait pas laver ses habits, il ne pouvait pas cuisiner, il ne pouvait pas marcher sous le soleil, il ne pouvait même pas se coucher sur son lit parce qu'il avait des douleurs atroces. Mais après la prière de l'homme de Dieu, tout a changé pour de bon dans sa vie. Uh, sir, for the glory of God, can you just move around the midst of children of God and show yourself that you are healed, that you are the same person. Oh, so just move around in your midst. Move around and put your hands together to move around your midst. Nous voyons nous, notre put frère. your hands together for Jesus Christ. Nous voyons notre frère en train de marcher parmi nous. Ceci est la preuve que Jésus-Christ est entré dans sa vie. Il a guéri. Il n'a plus souffert. Maintenant, il est le témoignage vivant que notre Dieu existe et qu'il est capable de guérir toute infirmité à sa gloire au nom de Jésus. This is the evidence that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, lives. The age of miracle has not passed, and the miracle worker is still alive. His name is Jesus Christ. Once more, put your hands together for him. Put your hands That's together for him. My brother, for the benefit of those watching you and listening to you right now, 
What is your advice? Since I was here since morning, I've seen some people here with brushes all over their skin. I see them feeling as if there is no hope again for them. There is hope. There is hope. Don't look but what you have, think but where you are. You will not go back the same as you came. Amen. Amen. Notre frère est en train de nous donner un message d'espoir et de conseil à tous ceux qui sont sur la ligne de prière maintenant de ne pas abandonner parce que le Dieu qui l'a guéri est parmi eux et lui aussi est capable de les restaurer pour la gloire de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. My brother is encouraging everyone who is watching or here listening that your case will never escape the anointing of God. That the same God that healed him will also locate you today in Jesus' name. Amen. So, sir, with this God Almighty have done for you. What is your promise to God? Oh, uh, there is one thing I want to say. I'm sorry. I want to beg God for forgiveness because I dropped the Bible. I dropped everything. Coming here today was not only for my testimony. Coming here today was to go down before God on my knees and tell him I want to become born again again in life. I want him to reborn me again. I want to be a servant. I want to work for him. That's what brought me mostly important today. Notre frère promet à Dieu d'être son serviteur pour le reste de sa vie. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Acclamez pour notre Seigneur Jésus Christ. So I want to encourage you and also thank God for your life that the deliverance, the healing you receive is by God's word. That you should go and be ruled by his word by making that word of God the standard for your life. By so doing, your healing, your deliverance will be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for healing me. Thank you.